Hello and welcome to Hey, I Loved That Movie, the podcast where we rewatch the films we loved when we were younger to see if they still hold up. I'm Dan. I'm Michael. And I'm Helena. And for this episode, we watched Fly Paper. I should also explain, I am, I am just getting over COVID, uh, which is why my voice is a bit of a mess. Just so it's, it's an explanation. But flypaper, let's talk about flypaper. Yeah, so I was like obsessed with this film when it came out and I don't know why. And by obsessed, I watched it like three or four times. <laughs> obsessed. And then, like how close together? Um, it was all within the space of like probably six months or okay, so. Okay, yeah, that's pretty obsessed. Now you forced me to watch it. <laughs> yeah, probably. Like, that was one of the times. I looked into a. I, I, I was on Tumblr at the time and there was loads of like stuff about it as well, which I'll get into what, something from there. That's a pretty damning review, isn't it? That it was popular on Tumblr. Yeah, one of the letterboxed reviews was um, this is just a thirst watch for the guy that plays Constantine. A hundred percent. In Yeah, one, in the TV series. hundred um, <laughs> percent. But also, like, you made me watch this film pretty soon when I met you. Yeah. You, know, I mean, you need to yeah, watch cause it. Yeah, because it was paper. like just after I moved here that I watched it. We, I have a question, Dan. You were the Wendy. So this film came out in 2011. How did you find it? Because it grossed a thousand dollars at cinema. <laughs> oh wow, <laughs> that did not do well. Uh, <laughs> I remember. <laughs> How did? No, I mean, I'm not some... surprised, but I'm, <laughs> it I'm opened in two cinemas. It grossed a thousand and one hundred dollars. Damn, opened, for a movie with McDreamy in, in it, like... it opened in two <laughs> cinemas. Damn, and I was at both of them. <laughs> <laughs> How did um, you find no, it? No, I I think another friend was like, oh, this looks good, because they just found the trailer for it. And I was like, oh, did that you looks buy the DVD in Poundland? Yeah, the DVD. Uh, I know you I had the DVD. No. Oh, wait, yeah, I might yeah, have had the you DVD. Had the, no, you had the DVD because you kept going, we should watch this film. That's probably it. Then <laughs> I probably found it in CEX and bought it for like a quid. <laughs> nah, all <laughs> the good DVDs are 25p. Yeah. Yeah, in that weird, well, nightmarish downstairs. Area. Was that here? <laughs> yeah, that had like the basement DVD section, or was that somewhere? Um, else? I think that, that might have been, been somewhere. A else. Yeah, There's... I think CEX has come with like a built-in basement. I don't know. Either way, <laughs> I got the DVD somewhere. You found this film. I found this film, which has a wild cast. To yeah, be I was going to say I cast. like seriously. <laughs> I, uh, I, uh, luckily for me, never heard of or seen this film until yesterday. Yeah, yesterday morning was better than yesterday evening. Are you watching in the <laughs> evening? Why did you watch it in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> I, oh god. But yeah, I was excited to watch this because from the premise it didn't sound, it sounded like it could go... Either way. It could be silly and kind of funny yeah. and whatever. And like, it's got a cast and a half... Yeah, so the main character is McDreamy from Grey's Anatomy. Yeah, Patrick um, Dempsey. Yeah, yeah, Patrick Dempsey. It's got Ashley Judd is Caitlin, who's the bank teller. It's got Tim Blake Nelson, who is just amazing in everything. Cool. Jeffrey Tambor is the manager. I recognise, like, almost everyone in it, essentially. It's got Octavia Spencer, who I think yep. is the American Olivia Coleman. That is a fair call. Back that up <laughs> yep. by saying that... She, uh, they are both in some weird independent movies, but also major Oscar, highly respected Oscar winners and incredible <laughs> actors. Also in some really bizarre. Yeah, didn't she? Wasn't she in? Is it Ma? Yep. I think I think he spent in like a lot of weird independent. And like you watch her, and you go, she don't need to be in this. <laughs> Jamie <laughs> Spencer doesn't need to be. She was. She's an Oscar. She's a multi Oscar winner. Yeah. The. Uh, IT guy I recognise, and I think he's just in several sitcoms as like a side character. Yeah. The one of the groups of robbers is in the American Torchwood series. That no uh, the one. The black guy, Mickey, Mickey Pfeiffer. I was going to yeah. say, like this film, no, no one, one saw yeah. that. <laughs> like this film and many other American I'm, versions. I'm the only person that show. saw this film, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you gave it a thousand times. And then you have the tech, the hacker guy, who, yeah, who is, is a solid Matt reason Ryan. to watch this film. Yeah, yeah, he is, he is a great character. He's like discount Colin Farrell. Yeah. <laughs> but, but like, not by much. Funny. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> so the, the plot of this film, outside of the weird cast that are way too good to be in, everyone in this is kind of too good to be in this film. Even though I made a shitload of notes, I feel like a lot of, like trying to go through step by step is just going to be oh, confusing as hell. It's because it's both needlessly complicated and incredibly simple. Yep, yeah. exactly. And also really dumb. <laughs> Really yeah. dumb. Dad, really dumb. Can we get this out of the way? But I because enjoyed how dumb it is. I, I feel like me and Helena have an opinion on this film. And I feel like... Oh, yeah, I feel like you do too. We're uh, talking I feel in a like... way where we think Dan <laughs> might have the opposite opinion to us. Yeah. yeah. So how... This I film is this dumb film... and I hated watching it. <laughs> I know this film's dumb, but I really liked it's it for so... some reason. It's so oh aggressively God. mediocre. God, like literally, yeah. exact at time of recording, this exact time a year ago, I was watching Southland Tales, and now I understand what Tom means. <laughs> no, because to be fair, this isn't eight hours long. Um, no. This is actually pretty <laughs> quick enough. to get through. But it, God, is it? Is it nothingness? It is. <laughs> I understand why it made the amount of money it did. Just because, like, yeah. that was people going in going, I don't know what this film's about. You know it. I think it's so, it's so kind of, the plot is simple, but it's also so full of holes. Oh, yeah. It really doesn't keep you, it didn't keep me engaged because I was like, well, that can't happen. Oh, well, that's not how that works. Oh, well, that's Oh, I can see this dumb. Twist. Oh, I guess this <laughs> is this. Yeah, it is like... It, it By is... the end of it, I didn't care who was who. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I do not give a shit about who is the... <laughs> murderer who is the dot 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 why they're all there like i just was like i I just want it to end yeah it it did a lot like it spent so much time setting up stuff and then just randomly introduced separate things that it, it just felt like i don't know i i don't want to rip on this film too much but also fuck you nan fuck you for number one <laughs> making me watch it all that time ago and i had to be polite to, no i'm joking um <laughs> I was a bit polite about it when you first showed. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I was a bit like because I'd only really just met you, and I was like, "Wow, yeah, yeah. that was all right." Um, <laughs> and now I'm like watching it. Pro- I've watched it properly now, where I had to focus on it. Fuck, is it boring? It, it has genuinely been like probably at least nine years or so since I saw it. I say I, I watched it like not long after I first moved here to Ramsgate, so that was like probably in may in 2012 yeah and then yeah. i saw it like yeah a couple of times during those months and then just haven't seen it since so, so that's why i was what... like oh maybe it'd be good for the podcast <laughs> why don't we take a plot each the basic sure. premise from the beginning mm. is that uh there's a group of that there's a, a bank that's just about to be closed it's having its security system updated and a group of professional bank robbers are about to try and rob the bank and break into the vault and at the same time just these two hillbillies walk in with a shotgun and they both try and rob the bank at the same time yep um at the and s- that's kind of at the same the time exciting incident as... at the same time as patrick dempsey goes to withdraw a quirky amount of coins yeah, yeah that that is one of the this is... annoying things in this um, film. and he's i thought from the premise that he was involved in it as like an fbi agent or something but no he's just a bystander yep. who gets caught up in just these two bank robberies bystander. I mean, he might be the second uh, criminal in the bank's list, uh-huh. but... But they didn't think knows? about mentioning that at any point. No. Even at the that end of the film. <laughs> even at the end of the film, after all of the twists have happened. Yeah. Um, he's just still a he's guy. He's still just a guy. Uh, mm. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, more, it's less of like a plot twist and more like... A, you know, a development like of when the kids play football... Yeah, and like they're all just swarming around the ball like flies, and like no one's actually there's no like direction. They're just all trying to kick it at the same time. Yeah, there's no rules. There's no like no one's observing the rules of this film. But I, he's like a aggressively written. He's an American written Sherlock, is what he is, right? Yeah, like, yeah but yeah, they did much, that with yeah. House, and it was better. And they did it um, with Elementary, and it was better. Yeah, yeah, he's essentially Sherlock that kind of like genius. he has vague mental illness yeah that make him a super genius what is it even genius or is it just sort of ocd paying attention to every little detail hyper observant like hyper observant yeah. a bit hyper vigilant a bit like, again hypersensitive it is set up like he is also conducting a heist yeah, yeah. like you do get that vibe that he is also there to steal money 
uh, throughout the film because yeah, he's he knows he's counting the money properly. He's really observant of like everything going on. Yeah, he it's sort of like he was casing the joint or that he was like I don't know, using the time that he spent wasting the poor bank teller's time when he wanted his ridiculous amount of I don't understand American Coins, coin names, no. but like he wanted dimes and nickels, but like oh god, only prime numbers of them? Yeah, there was no it felt like there should be a reason for that later on. Like he was trying to yeah. like get timing done to for like something. He's trying to, to kill happen. time until the security systems reset or something. Yeah, and yeah. that that didn't come to fruition. And then like you have no. so the the main thing is then yeah, he so he's talking to this bank teller. She has just got married. Ashley Judd. Ashley Judd. Yeah, she's she's like about to get married, isn't she? No, she's, she's just got, got married. married. She's, she's about to go on honeymoon. She's about to go on a honeymoon. Yeah. Uh, she's so only... she's got loads of presents, like presents from... She's only worked there two months. Um, uh, Octavia Spencer is the funniest. Octavia, okay, so there's there's only four good characters, like, worth watching in this film. Um, it is Octavia Spencer, who is genuinely fucking hilarious in this film. She's she's great. She's so fu- She's funny in everything. She's in... Where she's allowed to be funny, she's funny. Uh, again, very Olivia Colman. Her, uh, two rednecks. Yeah. Tim Blake mm-hmm. Nelson is great. I, I like since they're seeing incredible. him in Holes. I just like him in pretty much everything. They're they're both incredible. They're really funny. Yeah. And the, the, the hacker guy. He they're the only because yeah. oh the British great. hacker. Yeah. He's top tier mainly just because he's funny and interacts yeah. with. I don't know. I disagree. I don't think any of them are that funny. I think you're just so desperate for some form of comic relief or entertainment that you low it, that this film lowers your standards. No, I very quickly. I like Octavia Spencer's like little. Jo- she has like a lot of yeah. little jokes. Yeah, I love the bit where he where he's like, oh, all the signs point to her being the thing, and they all turn around and point a gun at her, and she just screams. Yeah, it's yeah. great. <laughs> she's Octavia Spencer's just the other. Octavia Spencer's one of so just she's the bank the teller too. Characters. The, yeah. yeah, yeah. The the background characters that turn into whatever they're called hostages. Hostages. That's the word. Um, and then all hell breaks loose. All the um, the people trying to rob the place all try and rob the place at the same time. There's a gunfight. Yeah. Someone end up. Someone someone gets shot, but they get shot before the gunfight starts. Yeah, it kind of starts like, the gunfight. Yeah, and then the main guy is like, well, "Everyone, wait! I need to check on check on that guy to see if he's dead." Which again yeah. sets up that he is there to do something. Like it sets yeah. up that yeah. he is trying to do something, and something has gone wrong. Which is a much better story, by the way. Like yeah. this, this. That's the thing that's really frustrating is that, like, yeah, you want him to, you want him be to... something. Yeah. Instead, he's just this weird bystander that, like, has no sense of personal, like, set preservation. Yeah, the, the, this film presents you with a much better story than the one it tells because it, it presents you this story of this main guy is a like master bank robber and he is like he is manipulating all of these people and. It's it's all plan. He's planning all of it. It sells you that story as like a meta story, yeah. And the but then it it goes now nah, that isn't what's happening, and, and then it goes this more boring thing. And it, yeah, he's just a slightly eccentric dude. Yeah, and it it would have been so yeah much a, better. a way better story would have been like he was going to rob the bank too, and he's spending yeah. the whole time trying to work out how he can still rob the bank. Yeah. Whilst with dealing it. with the rest of the other people also trying to rob the bank. Or like if he yeah. if he did if he was like the master manipulator and he was like getting all these people in in place to to have this happen so it would be a big distraction for him to get away. And if it had gone wrong with that FBI agent getting shot, like that would have been a much more interesting story for him to then work out like why did it go wrong? What is going on? How do I get away with all this shit? But it's not. Yeah. <laughs> it's just no. <laughs> not. That story is happening to a side character that we get to see none of. Yeah, maybe that's why the um, yeah the the Tumblr thing was literally just like a theory that he is because they've got the names of the people that are like ranked in yeah no like criminals and yeah they're like oh what if he's actually the guy who was number two and it's like. Cool. Maybe. Present it in the fucking film. Yeah, that would have but, been better. Yeah. Really yeah. simple, bro- really simple solution to that theory is present it in the yeah. film. Is have it in the film when you yeah. get because they give themselves the opportunity to. That's the thing. That's the really yeah. annoying part is they constantly give themselves the opportunity to have a, that twist, to have that specific twist. 
Well, there was a point, like, genuinely, in my mind, I thought that he does tell her that at the ending scene when they're in the car together. Nope. Nope. And then it didn't happen, yep. and I was like, oh. Because it makes sense, and that's the story the film is, te- is like, presenting you, but not the one it's telling yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like they want the twist to be, oh, he isn't a bank robber. What a twist. It's like, that's not a good that's twist. not a twist. That's a no. boring twist. That's... that's a flop. So he's just a guy who got really involved in a bank. That's not an exciting story. I think the main problem I have is this is not how people act. No. No matter how mentally, you know, whatever he is, because they are purposefully vague about it, no one goes, oh, I'm going to get really involved in this horrible, violent bank robbery that's already killed someone. Mm. Even if it doesn't make sense, you get yourself out of that situation and then you work it out later. Yeah. This film probably would have been better without him as a character being there. Yeah, like, he doesn't add anything and he's the main character. Well, he just kind of... It's very annoying. ...gets in the way of a better story a little bit. Because watching... Yeah, because that... Yeah. Watching... Sorry, no, Dan, no. you're not allowed to talk about this film. <laughs> he bought this film to <laughs> us for us to dissect. <laughs> but watching, like... Um, so, big twist at the end. She... The... the uh, We're not going to go through the plot of this film. There's so much... Basically, they tried to rob so a bank. Much. Uh, someone's been... Someone killed the FBI dude. Yeah. Dempsey's trying to work out who because yeah. he doesn't care about surviving yeah. this bank robbery. He cares about, you know, yeah. working well, out this he's, mystery. He's already convinced that they're going to kill him. They're going to kill the hostages yeah. for some reason. And then they don't. And yeah, his, I mean, immediately that, that really frustrated me because it was like, well, they've already killed one person. They're probably going to kill us. Like, it's the same. And, you know, in court, it'll all come out the same. And it's like, no. No, one murder is very what, different. One too. murder is not the same as killing a whole group of hostages. One, someone getting caught yeah. in crossfire is not the same as, like, killing in cold blood multiple hostages. Yeah. And then you've got Graves who's like, let me just fucking kill him already, <laughs> like, the whole time. Yeah. Yeah, it turns out that someone had sent information to all these different bank robbers to say that this one specific bank was having the security thing updated so there'd be no security for two minutes. Yeah. And they were all led there by the same person. Yes, who in one of the better scenes in the, one of the more like personable charactery sort of scenes is the hacker guy and the the two sort of redneck types are sort of left alone because the the professional bank robbers are like telling everyone what to do, um, but the hacker guy sort of with the the two rednecks is like, oh, I'm on the FBI's most wanted list. And so he pulls out his he pulls out his laptop and sort of shows them who number one, number two, and like number three is, and it's yeah. that is setting up. Yeah, so it's <laughs> yeah. Num- so it- that's setting up the rest of it because number one is yeah, Vitellus Drum. Yeah. Two is Mick Nylon, who is yeah, like who Patrick Dempsey should have doesn't been. exist in the three film. is three is Alexis Black, Which, who by turns the way, out- if you're not gonna have the. <laughs> the second person in the film. If you're not going to have that twist that he is the second most wanted, move the fucking woman up to second place. Yeah, nah, that'd be too obvious. <laughs> like a woman yeah. can't be that good at robbing banks. <laughs> but it's like it's such a weird kind of sexism. Where it's like if you aren't going to have that character, fucking yeah. move the other one up. Oh, well, the weird sexism is throughout the film anyway. But also, yeah. yeah, it's like did they decide to cut that? Did like maybe a focus group come back and be like, oh, it's too confusing. <laughs> Or something like that. I feel like it made too much um, sense. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, three, yeah. Three is Alexis Black, who is turns out to be Ashley Judd's character. Yeah, who's the the her, the bank teller. The bank teller. Yeah. Twelve is Darian and Weinstein, who are the other two of the main group. Yeah. Uh, Gates is sixty eight, but he's fourth best in cyber. Yep. And then I like how none of them have pictures. And then it's like 674th, peanut butter and jelly. And it's got their pictures on it yeah. as well. The two red necks how are useless they are. Peanut butter and jelly. Oh, they are great. Yeah. See, they're, they're so they're, good. They are, they are quite funny. I like the line, explosives is explosives. Is explosives. Is explosives. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's um, great. I also, there was one scene that I did actually not like in that I thought it was funny. But it, I liked it in the like it actually felt quite human was the it guy realizing he'd, he'd fucked up and yeah. like he starts throwing up in the sink and then the other dude comes in and is like oh they've felt, they worked out you're the snitch yet yeah, yeah that was good <laughs> but yeah it's just stupid yeah that that the list scene is oh it's, it's a good setup yeah it's actual it's, it's yeah. actual it's set but the problem is it's set up 
for something else that should have happened. And then what actually yeah. happens is... Because they do reveal who the number one most wanted is. And the number one most wanted is there. It's just yeah, not... and he's like the guy that owns the bank. Yeah, who is in like a tenth of the rest of the film. And like, it doesn't make yeah. any sense. Why would... How does he have time? He's uh, yeah. running a bank. How does he own the bank? How is he the bank manager at that point? How did he get that job whilst also being the most wanted... But how did wouldn't they go? Would you move well, around banks a lot, don't you? Yeah, mm. but the the point of this isn't that he's trying to rob the bank; it's that he's trying to lure everyone else in to kill them all. Yeah, yeah, but so because he can the, rob the bank. you know to get rid- all the people that are <laughs> so he can get rid of them, so he stays at number one. Well, I it's imagine. so that he. I thought it was he was getting rid of them because he'd worked with them all and wanted to not have any like identifiable. Yeah, maybe he doesn't want a connection. But uh, if they can out, identify him, <laughs> why can't they identify him? Yeah, yeah. Well, Amazon, that, like the film doesn't tell us any of that. It's this yeah. film is like, they're like oh, you oh can well, watch. you know, they've really big on like not seeing each other's faces for a bit, and then they kind of give up. Yeah, yeah, because they get seen and they're like, oh fuck it, <laughs> like. But like, yeah. how do they not clock the most famous wanted bank that they're apparently they supposed his... to all know what he looks like because they've all worked with him? No, they've only ever gotten faxes from him. They've never no, they, actually they like, got... seen him before. He's but their they... he's their point man. Oh, they're point so man. Yeah, so they've all worked for him. P- PB&J have been, like, his distraction before as well. They've never actually met him. But the the film should give the uh, that character more attention. Yeah. If they want him to be a major part in the film, in, like, the story, he needs to be in the film more as, like, a yeah, general more rule. Scenes of him. Yeah, or like less just... other characters. Yeah. So that he has more screen time that way because Cause he's, bloody hell, there are characters in this I do not care about. He is a good actor. The person that they got that is like the major criminal is a really funny actor and like a really good actor. Yeah. And he's in quite, I can't remember his name, but he's in quite a lot and he is uh, very funny. Jeffrey Tambor, he's in Arrested yeah. Development. Yeah. yeah, he's yeah. the dad in Arrested Development. He's really funny. I did get him confused with Chevy Chase for a while. I did. I was like, I, I was didn't like... know Chevy Chase was in this. <laughs> it's not Chevy Chase. But yeah, and he is really funny and it would have been great if he had more scenes. And, yeah, and they did, they just didn't, and then they went. He's the master criminal. He's the master yeah. They work criminal. out that like, well, T- Dempsey finds some night vision goggles because <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hidden in a again, again box which f- on the wall in the bathroom because you know it's fucking sets him up as the bank robber. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's oh. like he, he sees them there and he's hiding it from... Because uh, he doesn't mention it to... Anyone. Um, <laughs> a- a- anyone. And then Caitlin s- somehow knows later on as well. Yep, they mention no, it he on screen. Yeah. Uh, he t- he yeah. Does, I do remember him telling it because I remember thinking, yeah, it's really dumb that he kept them in the right place because he's letting that person have the night goggles. Yeah, exactly. Um, when they get them, kills the creepy guard, which is good, and then kills Gates as well. And I was like, damn it. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He gets. It's basically. It was the night vision scene that made me realize I did not care to find out who uh, Vicellus. What's his name? Vicellus Mamp. Drum. Drum. Rum. My Drum. Rum is. I just did not care at that point. And then when it was like, <laughs> oh, it's him. I was like, oh, okay. Oh, the wor- <laughs> the worst way this story could have gone. The character we have seen twice, and we don't care about. Yeah, they have no emotional connection to. It would have been great if it was Octavia Spencer. I'd have loved for that it to would have been, been Octavia yeah. Spencer. <laughs> so he, so he shot, he shot the IT guy and Weinstein. Also awkward, just pointing that out. Yeah. Um, yep. They and no one hears the gunshot. No, no, four gunshots, by the way. And it's like, oh, there's a silencer. That's not how silencers work. Yeah, that's not how silencers work. It's not how anything works. Anything. And also, okay, just this another frustrating thing. The whole point of like the reason that the um, hillbillies, those bank robbers, they mess up because they've got different C4 plastic explosives than they normally use, and they make a huge explosion. Yeah. yeah. Why is that not, you know, alerting some people? Because as far as I can tell, their outside support is they've put a curtain up that's this photo of the inside of the bank. Yeah. Yeah. Why is no one going, you, that you was a big explosion? explosion. <laughs> that was a yeah. loud explosion. Because it is a big explosion. Which somehow like, when he blows part of the ATM up, but still. No, it blows up. Well, it rips the like the iron door off and burns yeah, everything but inside. Then it's a secondary door. Yeah. Yeah, it's like they're in a case, so it it gets through the first bit, but not the yeah. not the second bit. And oh god, it's so stupid. It is. It is incredibly stupid. Um. And yeah. 
God, it's just I'm remembering more of this film, and it's making me more and more angry. Because <laughs> like the whole the whole reason that they're like, oh, they've got this, they've got this like, was it two two minutes or two hours? I don't know. It was like they've got this good time, good opportunity to rob the bank, and but it's not. Yeah. It's a finite it was, amount of time. It was because the security system was on down for being updated. Yeah, and it was like. But that doesn't mean like the police and ears don't exist. Right. And there isn't like a yeah. backup security system whilst that's happening in this bank. Um and it's, they were, they didn't play with that time scale at all though, did they? It was like, yeah. And like I get yeah, why obviously yeah. Alexis Black or whatever didn't press the bank didn't press the panic alarm. But why wouldn't Studio Flip, Octavia Yeah. <laughs> right? Like what what this just it's just not it's like it's an idea by someone, and like they've done no research. They've not they've not researched mental health, even though the main character is someone with mental health problems. They've not researched banks. They've not researched explosives. Yeah, I think they've barely researched British people. <laughs> I don't think they researched <laughs> British people. They just hired one, and then he they he probably went and they've not changed some of this script. And they've yeah, I guess they've not researched. It's just so lazy. It's so lazy. Yeah. Like it was written on like written on the back of a napkin kind of someone went yeah, i have an do. idea for a film and just wrote it and didn't Ooh. really think it's about a murder it. mystery set in two bank robberies that happened at the same time at the same bank and you'd be like okay i could see how that could be which is different. a good premise with like the cast you'd be like this sounds like a good film it's not yeah <laughs> it's just uh because again it it's over complicated but not not enough to not be in a clever interesting. way. Yeah, it's overcomplicated, but in like the worst and like, way. Dem- the reason that Dempsey's acting so erratically is because he's off his meds. But it's like he's this like erratic, not erratic, like hyper vigilant. He would not ever run out of his medication. Yeah. yeah, like that is the character that they're portray that they want him to portray or, or are writing him as. Wouldn't yeah. is not the same person that would like not have yeah, backups like of was... their medication. Yeah, because it's like he was about to go out to the pharmacy to get get some or something but then yeah. got locked in the bank which yeah. again someone like that wouldn't do and also yeah. what kind of medication is he on that it wears off like that quickly, quickly? suddenly <laughs> and that yeah. suddenly i do like the bit where he's freaking out and caitlin like kisses him to try and make him calm down oh i hated that scene yeah, no, I hate it. that it's was really disgusting yeah. it was really gross because it's this portrayal yeah. of mental health and like having someone rolling around the floor clutching their head because of their mental health is just it was so Off just putting. patronizing yeah yeah and also like she is the third best bank robber why does she care why isn't she trying to get away more because all she has to do is get the money into her maybe she is trying to work out. out yeah i thought like... she was just trying to work out who they actually killed the fbi dude because she wanted to yeah. Know what was going on by that point. She but just yeah, wants this an opportunity. It to also get the has money. that stupid plot device of if he keeps trying, he'll get the girl. Yeah. You know, she's, persistence yeah. is how you how you win a woman's heart. She's not, interested you know. in him. Well, she's already like she is interested in him, and again, it. I think it sets her up quite well as. I mean, a bit too obvious to be a twist. Like it's not like a shock. Were well, oh, really shocked yeah, no. when you found out she was. No. Bank? No. Be- no, not, not really. Because it sets it up quite well that she is a I'd bank actually robber. forgotten the thing about the wedding presents, so um, yeah. I was like, why she got like, oh yeah. And but thankfully the film does explain it to you at the end. Anything that's better written, if a better written film, that would have been a good character, because it does it sets yeah. up really well. She has wedding presents yeah. and a wedding ring, and she forgets that she said she was getting married. Yeah, like, and there, yeah it's like one, a double bluff. that sets yeah. her up a bit more nicely. As well. Like, there's a tiny bit where... Um, when they're all in the vault and they realise that, you know, they're all trying to be killed and they all leave to get the guns and everyone's just grabbing stuff. She just, like, expertly takes hers apart to check it, puts it back together and it's like, hmm. Yeah. Normal person might not know how to do that. Well, they're American. That's a she's, good hint. She's also character. American. Uh, <laughs> yeah, good point. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, it, that, but that's what I mean. Like, it isn't a subtle hint that she's a thief. It's no. kind of obvious. And then it goes, there's a woman thief. you like, okay, so it's the woman that knows how to pull a gun apart and has forgot she was married. Maybe it's that woman in this film. <laughs> it's not <laughs> super subtle. She doesn't forget she was married. I thought she forgot what day she got engaged. No, she for- I think she just forgot she was she said she was married. Because she forgets she's he's like, Oh, when did you get married? And she's like, What 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 do you mean? The, oh the wedding Oh, 
I thought she. I thought he. I thought yeah. he was saying, "Oh, it's a happy." I thought he meant the date. Like she forgot the date. Uh, I, just... I think she just. Forgot. Yeah, because he he asks when and she like doesn't answer. He's like, "Yeah, most people would answer straight away." Yeah, and she. He's like, "How do you know I got married?" It's like all the wedding presents and the ring, and it's like. Yeah. <sighs> also, maybe she just doesn't want to answer your questions, creep. Yeah, she's a bank teller. She doesn't <laughs> have to answer your questions. Yeah. She just yeah. works here. She's just being nice. Oh, this film would have been great if she actually wasn't a bank robber and he was like, you would have answered straight away. And she was like, I didn't have to answer you anything. I don't yeah. owe you anything. <laughs> Why are you trying so hard to help me get out? Because we were in a hostage situation. And you seem to know. You oh, this film would have been so much better if she wasn't a thief. She was just yeah. really angry at If he it. was just, by the end of it, he was like convinced and then he gets in the car and he's like, oh, your wedding presents are going to be full of money and he like opens it and he's like, it's like some forks. <laughs> She's like, some fuck, silverware. And she's like, <laughs> leave my wedding need... presents alone. Meanwhile, to... Octavia Spencer's driving away with a fuck ton of cash. <laughs> should have been Octavia Spencer the entire time. Oh man, that would have been, that would have been great. I just, I wanted Octavia Spencer to be in this film more. Yeah, she was she was good and yeah, this whole no one acts like real people act. Like he's right, like they, they say at the start, like if this was a job like ten years ago we'd have already bailed because this is clearly not working out and it's like yeah, dude, like you're Why facing you massive here? prison time. There's always more banks. You can't rob them if you're in prison. Yeah. And they should be in prison because the police should have probably been called by a neighbour when there was a massive explosion. Mm-hmm. And when there was a second explosion and several gunfire, and, gun fire. and... <laughs> immediate gunfire, like I could understand if this was like a rural bank. Yeah, no, it's I don't know. We're out in like you know the in bumfuck nowhere, and no one knows. Like everyone's like it's where everyone and their mum has to store their social security stuff or their security deposit box because it's... it's the only bank. But it's actually, I don't know. Like there's a big festival going on the other side of town, and no one's there. Like, there's so many ways they could have had it a reason that they weren't caught and that the police weren't called, but instead they just don't mention it. It's not even at night as well, is it? Like, it, no. it's during the whole film happens during the day. Cause... Uh, oh, I thought it was no, like... No, no, as... it's night, and then yeah, as, they're, as they're closing. The oh, yeah, because yeah, then they get out at 5am when it opens again. Again, someone still would have called yeah. the police on yeah. gunfire. Just the gunfire. Yeah, because you never, you never once see the outside of the bank or where it is or anything. It's Which, just yeah, no, it's it's bank. so dumb. It's just not how it's not yeah. remotely realistic. Like to have that kind of setting, you have to set it up. You yeah, can't you just let the have... audience like come up with their own reason. You have to have an establishing yeah. shot. I think this film is a really good example that uh, show don't tell sometimes doesn't work, and you do actually have to tell the audience some things. Or yeah. they could have shown the audience something. Well, they that, that's what, but that's what I mean. They do to show the they show the audience that he is the one of the bank robbers. They show the audience that he is a bank robber. They show yeah. the audience that she is a bank robber, and they show the audience that the other two is a bank robber. Now, three of those things are true. <laughs> three of those things the audience the show does, the film does actually ha exist. It shows you something that isn't real, <laughs> and it should tell you. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's a, like it's a red herring, but it's yeah. I don't know. I'm still it, mad about the whole like police thing. Like that just needed some kind of it's a something. It's a red herring anything. that feels like an accident. It doesn't feel. Yeah. It feels like yeah. It feels like it was cut out. Not enough people watched it to work it out until Tumblr got hold of it. And yeah, they should. Well, Tumblr has a history of making up random things because uh, things they like are bad. Yeah, you know the Sher the Sherlock thing. <laughs> Yeah, the secret, what, Sherlock, the secret episode of Sherlock. Do you not know about the that? ending of? No. Oh fuck, it's wild. So you know the ending of the last season of Sherlock was terrible. Uh, yeah, isn't it where it turns out to be a little girl? Ye kind of. I, th I can't remember because I remember that Tumblr was going insane after the ending of the second season because they were like, "How did he do it?" And it would have never lived up to any expectations. Well, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the last yeah. season was even yeah. weirder than that. Well, that yeah. that that like the survival thing of of Sherlock. Um, was just because Moffat isn't a good enough writer to work it out himself, so he never yeah. told anyone. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's what I believe. But the the last season of Sherlock ended, and it was dreadful. It was really yeah. badly written. S at which point, a Tumblr, not as like a whole, but like a very small sect of like the Sherlock fandom on Tumblr, decided um, that actually it was really clever, and it was a secret. And this other show 
that was happening just after Sherlock was actually a secret episode of Sherlock because it had right. one of the actors in. Because uh, actors famously do one show and then retire. Yeah. Yeah, this that, is... That, them's oh, the oh, rules. Yeah. Um, that, that's how it works. Like, Patrick Dempsey's in Grey's Anatomy. Yeah. And then he goes and robs a bank. It's the same character. But it, ha- yeah. it had, like... I've not seen all of Grey's Anatomy. He might get brain damage or something. I don't know. <laughs> but it, it had... The show had uh, a It's name. Grey's Anatomy. He probably dies. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he does. <laughs> but, oh, no, shit. I know, okay. That's <laughs> <thing> I <do> <laughs> the... <laughs> I've not seen that far, and I know that McDreamy dies. Yeah, this other show had a similar name. It had a name that could be a reference to something in Sherlock. So people just decided it was a secret Sherlock episode. And then the show tanked because it got so many complaints because it wasn't the secret Sherlock episode. <laughs> oh, no. And that was just because people didn't want to admit that the last, that the Sherlock was actually a bad show. Like yeah. the final episode, final season was bad because Moffat is a bad writer. Yeah, because Moffat can't write anything unless it's something to do with his mum. Like... <laughs> Ooh. 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 You mean nepotism okay. at the BBC's <laughs> in the media industry? <laughs> uh, his mum is a, a producer and produced pretty oh, much well, I just meant he's ever that... worked on. Yeah, I just meant that it, like in terms of story that he writes was like, oh, no. always seemed to be his mum based like they like, call the sherlock stuff with the secret si- was it secret sister probably yeah and then like the ending of the amy pond thing in doctor who that ended up being some convoluted bullshit yeah. <laughs> um, um but also his it's either i think it's his wife or his mom is an executive yeah. producer i think yeah the, the issue is when someone gets loyal to films and i think you know we bring it back to the premise of this show yeah like nostalgia makes you forgive so much and want yeah, things definitely. to be really good so like yeah people love doctor who and then they don't like there's this loyalty that people just you know they've got to watch it and they've got to try and enjoy it got to like even it. when it's awful yeah you can stop watching things yeah, if you, they're bad. yeah, yeah. You, you don't ha- you can enjoy bits of a show and then not enjoy the rest of it yeah you yeah. don't have to watch all of it you don't have to blindly enjoy media it's really cool to not to as well. It's really cool to not enjoy something. If I, there's a TV show that I'm watching and it's not that good, it gets... I just don't keep watching. Or it gets bad. Yeah, just stop watching. Just stop no, watching just stop it. watching it. Don't be like... I do not feel like I... Yeah, I haven't watched the last few seasons of Doctor Who. I really enjoyed the first ones I, um, of the new season series when I was a kid. Yeah. And to date That's this, fine. I hope it's going to be good again when it comes back. With Russell T. Davies writing it. Oh, oh yeah, with um, Thingy Thingy. Yeah, Shooty, her is last name. From um, the Sex Education. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Let's date this yeah, episode. Be fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Flypaper, Dan, does it? I know what you're going to say, and it, it makes me so mad. It, it makes me it so is. mad. It makes me so mad. And I don't know. It's a bad film, but I like it. <laughs> you're a and bad that's... person for so liking this does, film. Does yeah. it hold up for you, Dan? Does it actually hold up? Weirdly enough, it lived up to my memories of it. Uh. Of like, <laughs> that's a low like I don't I'm so mad right now because this film was so there was, bad. There was a lot that I probably didn't remember and got wrong. Like I thought Gates was the one that gets blown up by the blowtorch backfiring. Yeah, they all the but bank robbers were it. interchangeable. Yeah. 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 Know, the only one that wasn't yeah. was the British one. Yeah, yeah, yeah the British. Because he was I, so British. Reason, oh, and I he says cunt, and they all get, and he gets Dempsey gets <laughs> really upset. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, we haven't talked about the part where Dempsey has a gun and a means to es- like escape and chooses not to so that he can have more evidence. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's not how people behave. No, no, it's not. But it held up for you, Dan, did it? Like, like enough. Like, I, <laughs> I knew going in that this wasn't going to be a good movie, but it's, it's the kind of movie that's just dumb but, and I find enjoyable. See, it's that second part I disagree um, with you. <laughs> I mean, I don't blame you. Like, I, I get, I get that it's not a great movie, but just I don't know. It's probably I'm, the nostalgia as I well. I think it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm giving this two, a two out of ten for the two times that Dempsey says flypaper in this movie because you probably w- stopped paying attention for the first time Wait, I said it. Is it. Why is it called flypaper? Because, because the Octavius, not Octavius, uh, uh, what's his name? V- v- Vermouth? 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 
You say that like that's a normal name, like (laughs) Timothy Scott. I have so many notes on this movie that I wrote for watching it. Vicella's drum, um, like Dempsey is like, it's flypaper. Like he's he's drawn you all in like like flies to honey you all to kill you yeah. yeah like he's you're drawing you all in with like a it's um yeah it's a trap basically he could have just said it's a trap yeah but he didn't but instead he has to say flypaper because That's they copyright. clearly had already named the film when they wrote it <laughs> yeah i yeah i think i'll i'll go I'll, i'd give it a three um a three interesting fun characters out of the what <laughs> 12 characters in this film <laughs> four i liked four of them but i'm gonna give it a three yeah. three octavia like spencer deserve three oscar winning <laughs> octavia spencers who for some reason is in films like this and i do not understand it because she deserves better but she's getting paid so i can't can't complain well she may have got paid out of this film <laughs> Yeah, hopefully she didn't... Um, yeah, she didn't take royalty take stuff. Pe- yeah. The the movie was actually a fake movie to get loads of famous actors in to distract them from other better projects. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> but, yeah. Oh, fuck, there's too many good actors. There's too many, like, funny, genuine... <laughs> there's too many genuinely funny actors in this film for it to not be more of a comedy. Because it could have been a really good com. <laughs> nah, it's not. There's a couple jokes in it. A couple of the characters are funny. But it's not a comedy. It's way too early 2000s for a film made in 2011. Yeah. You could rewrite this to be a much better film with very little, like, problem. Yeah, not too much yeah. to change. So out of ten. We got three, two and three. <laughs> out of ten. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I should just do the outro. It's not going to no, go. out of ten, Dan. Do it. Coward. For, for enjoyability. I, I, no, don't like, I break it, no, aware. don't break it down this into sections not a good movie. to make it own sound your, better. Own your pride, Dan. <laughs> own your right. We all have bad gonna... films that we gave high scores. I haven't yet, no, we but don't. we're going to get to it. <laughs> I haven't, okay, I haven't given a bad film a high score at all, yeah, ever. No, all the films exactly. I love are perfect. <laughs> mm. that's, how, that's how we work. Yeah, Disney so agrees. I'm going to give this seven... <laughs> A what? Seven oh. plot points that are given away in the intro uh, <laughs> animation. <laughs> because, like, the whole film is there. The whole film is in... Reason. Yeah, it's like Midsummer <laughs> with the tapestry. But, you know. Yeah. But you don't have to be, like, paying attention to recognise it. Um, yeah. Do you say seven? Yeah, okay. just from I an thought you said eleven. Standpoint. I thought you said eleven, oh, no. and I was going to be like, Dan, <laughs> that's... How dare you? <laughs> Yeah, rude. <laughs> That's not how numbers we work, Dan. We didn't even give Matilda that high of a standard. Seven, Sorry. though. Seven's a bit high. That's a bit, yeah. <laughs> but I guess... Like, I, I I know that it's probably the nostalgia and just... It wasn't long enough. Know, Honestly, had... it wasn't long enough ago for a nostalgia. Yeah, break. this isn't a... Char- <laughs> this film isn't cute enough for your nostalgia. This is, this is why this we're is not like giving you the that. the latest film that we've watched, I think, in terms of... Yeah, when things came out, was why we're not like, giving you the nostalgia. Nostalgia out is this isn't old <laughs> enough for you to be like, oh, the nostalgia. Oh yeah, it's it's yeah, it's got three I mean, three years later like, than Wanted. I thought Wanted was the most recent. It's still like ten years ago. We're old now. I'm not gonna give you that nostalgia out. You have to own that you like this film. Yeah, I do agree that like with what you were saying though about the several ways that it could be better. <laughs> the longest of ways. <laughs> like, yeah, that was a. Complaint. That, yeah, that was our complaint about the movie Flypaper. Go watch it if you want. So if you, you might enjoy it. You can you can watch it. It's fine. Like, you don't can expect watch to... it. Yeah. Oh, don't I am expect, so like, glad I um I saw this through alternate means and I did not pay <laughs> because Amazon wanted four pound forty nine to rent this movie. Mm. Oof, that's high. But don't worry, uh, Dan I had the sold DVD. All my DVDs a what? While ago. <laughs> what? I bet you got a lot. For Wait, Flypaper, you managed though. to sell this film? Yeah, CEX took it back. <laughs> no, like it always comes back eventually. <laughs> just add it to the pile. They use most no, of them as coasters the... in the staff room. It's just the same one copy that every CEX has. There's only one DVD in and circulation. It always comes back home. <laughs> uh, well, with that, I have been Dan. I have been Michael. And I've been Helena. Uh, you can find this podcast on Twitter and Instagram at Hilton Pod. That's at H I L T M Pod. Uh, we're on Discord as well. The links are all in the show notes. Uh, Mikey, what are we going to do with people's so, Patreon money this time? With your Patreon money this time, we are. <laughs> <Robert>. <laughs>
going to hire Octavia Spencer. And we are also going to hire two groups of bank robbers. Right? And we're going to find this bank in the middle of somewhere. And we're going to set Octavia Spencer up and working in there somehow. Uh, because she can do it. She's an amazing actress. <laughs> she can be, loved. She can be a, a bank teller. Um, and we're gonna. What we're gonna do is we're gonna plan so when the security is being updated, and the bank is left completely unsecure, um, we're gonna plan for both of these robberies to go off at the same time, leading to a distraction where we can get away with the money. <laughs> so what we're gonna we're investing your Patreon money into getting more money. <laughs> this time yeah, stolen. You've, you've got to spend money to make money. Yeah, we're going to spend money on rob bank robbery groups, and instead of letting can them you hire steal the bank money, robbery groups? Yep. And we're instead send of send them all the facts, instead of letting them steal the money, <laughs> <Wee -oo! laughs> sorry, fact, facts is just a funny noise. Instead of letting them steal the money for us, we're going to hire Octavia Spencer to be the pinhead of the 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 the, the top of it all, and she's going to be the one that steals the money. Because that would have been a much better ending to this film. We're going to spend your Patreon money to do more crimes on top of the one Helena already did to watch this movie. <laughs> I deny everything. I gave my route some lasagna and they're very happy. For now, and then they'll... Well, they will continue to be happy, you might not. They might, like, hmm. learn how to make lasagna now and then climb on Helena's head to make her make more. Helena I'd be down for that. Uh, like, if I can make lasagna with less thought process, that would be great. <laughs> uh, uh, Helena doesn't need that. She already knows how to make lasagna. <laughs> yeah. And maybe I just wouldn't notice and the rat would think, oh, I'm doing a ratatouille. And then the other rat would be like, are you? <laughs> I love the idea of a rat knowing the, the film ratatouille. <laughs> and they yeah, understand we... the... Number one, they understand the dish. Yeah, they've not seen the film. No, they're just, I'm doing a rat, I'm making a rat, doing <laughs> yeah. That's a lasagna. Yeah, it's like rat folklore. It's a rat based fairy tale. It's like rat, rat kings and ratatouille. <laughs> yeah. Those are the two things that rats are like. Sometimes, Ooh. sometimes they happen at the same Did you time. Hear? It's horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> they got all those humans to tie their legs together. <laughs> <laughs>